Hello and welcome to Germany. We are here at Hyundai Europe HQ because we're about to drive something quite special. Actually, Ginny has kind of already looked around the car. She's already given you the details and the specs and the interior and what the changes are in the brand new Hyundai Kona Electric, but she hasn't driven it yet. So that's why I'm here. So if you want to see all the details and stuff, go and look at Ginny's video. Meanwhile, let's see what it's like to drive. Come with me. can I just point out before I go anywhere they've moved the gear selector so it's now here rather than down here for space saving reasons so I guess we go into drive well, that was nice and easy wasn't it right so the one that we have here is the smaller battery version so this has a 48.4 kilowatt hour battery so you'll get around 234 miles ish and actually this is quite nice oh by the way just in case you were wondering this small battery standard range model has 154 brake horsepower and there's also a long range version with 214 brake horsepower now one of the most important things we do have to test is the regen braking because as EV drivers, we love one panel driving, right? I know that Ginny loves it. I'm a big fan of it as well. And this car can do full one pedal driving. It can take you to a complete stop. So you've got fluffy paddles here behind the steering wheel that can sort of change the level. I'm also very similar to Ginny in that I like having it all the way to the top, to the max. The official iPedal mode. Well, let's really test the one pedal driving. I'm not, I didn't, I'm not touching the brake. Oh, lovely one pedal driving. I always get a little bit frustrated with cars that just come down to a creep, but no, we've just come down to a complete stop. And that stopped really nicely behind the car in front of me. Very nicely done. Charging. <laughs> While I'm stuck in more German traffic, let me talk to you about charging. So we have uh, 102.3 kilowatt charging which is fine, it's okay. I mean, it will do 10 to 80% in 41 minutes, which doesn't sort of feel that quick. But what Hyundai are saying is that the, the peak rate will stay at that rate rather than other cars that can kind of go up and down depending on what the peak is at the time of charging. So they're claiming that it should be consistent charging at that speed. So we'll have to wait and see on that one, I guess. Now I do have to make sure I mention to you that this is still a prototype. We are driving the prototype version, but I have kind of been told, there's a little, you know, I have been told that this is basically what it's gonna be like when it is properly released. It's a prototype, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a prototype, but it's basically ready. So there's gonna be two versions that are gonna be released. So you have the version that we're driving here, which is the 48.4 kilowatt hour battery that will do around 234 miles. And then you have the longer range version that has a 65.4 kilowatt hour battery that will do around 319 miles, which isn't bad really. But I do have to mention there's about three and a half thousand pounds price gap between the two. So it all kind of depends on how many miles you're going to be doing really as to what version you go for because three and a half grand that's quite a lot of money isn't it and so far from driving this smaller battery version it's quite nice might not be worth going for the extra three and a half grand for the slightly bigger battery Let me elaborate slightly on the quite nice. It will be no surprise that even the standard range model feels quick off the mark. That instant power is one of the reasons that we love electric cars, right? And that peppiness, is that a word? Peppiness, uh, yeah, it's a word now. It comes into its own around town. That's where I reckon it feels 
nippy. Well, as nippy as it can be in German traffic. I also think it soaks up the lumps and bumps in the road really well. The steering's quite nice. It's light, even though the Kona is larger than the average city car, it still feels at home in this environment. And I think, you know what? I do think it would make a brilliant family run around. On the standard range model, the power drops off a little bit when you're at speed on the motorway, but it still feels just about punchy enough, although it doesn't have the same level of performance that you get at lower speeds, which I'm not sure if I've mentioned it, but I am quite fond of it. What did impress me is how quiet and refined the drive is when you're remaining at speed. Of course, I know all electric cars are quiet, but some have more refinement than others, you know? And the new Kona is very quiet, although it does make a bit of noise when you accelerate that I quite like as well. So when I put my foot down, it has done a nice Ooh. I wonder if you could hear it. Did you hear it? Ooh, that's quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. That was all right, wasn't it? A gentle shove, if you will. But this isn't the kind of car that you're going to want to put your foot down and chuck about, is it? This is absolutely a family SUV. I mean, it wasn't before, was it? It was like a small SUV, but now it's bigger. This definitely feels like much more of a family car. I mean, whereas before you would just kind of assume that you would just go for, I don't know, the hybrid Tucson or something like that. But actually, because this is bigger, this feels like a really nice size for a family. Really nice size. Go on, yeah, we've got some windy roads. Yes, okay. Let's see how we get on with this now because I want to see what the steering feels like. Go on. body roll but that wasn't too bad. I always find body roll in electric cars isn't too bad at all anyway because the batteries are so flat on the floor so it means that it doesn't roll around too much all over the shop but that, that was all right. I do have to tell you right Hyundai have found that all of the 100,000 Konas that they have sold across Europe 40% of those have been electric which means that when they came to designing this brand new Kona electric they started electric first. So rather than making the combustion engine version and then turning that electric, they started electric. That's why we have a really nice spacious area. That's why we have a nice flat floor in the back. Everything is designed for an electric driving experience. Right, it also includes a suite of Hyundai's SmartSense advanced driver assistance systems and safety features. Do you want me to rattle them off? All right, here we go. So, all trim levels include downhill brake control, driver attention warning, equal forward collision avoidance assist with car, pedestrian cycle and junction turning functions, hill start assist control, intelligent speed limit assist, lane keep assist, lane follow assist and leading vehicle departure alert. Ooh, do you want me to keep going? All right, fine. The all new Kona Electric is also available with EV specific smart sense equipment, including forward collision avoidance assist 2.0, which adds junction crossing automatic braking if a risk of collision is detected with vehicles approaching from the side. It also has lane change, side lane and oncoming automatic evasive steering actions if collisions are detected during lane changing or from oncoming traffic. So basically, if you're driving down a motorway and you're about to change a lane, if there's a vehicle that you haven't spotted, it will stop you. It will also do the same if there's a pedestrian. It's, it's all very, very clever. Right, that was exhausting. Back to me driving. Because this is the kind of car that you're not going to throw around corners and this is just really, it's a, it's a, a poodle about run around town kind of car. It kind of works. I'm very relaxed right now. Maybe, I don't know, I've just dropped the kids off at school. I don't have any kids. I've dropped the dogs off, to the dog lady. That's what I've just done. Right, so I don't have kids, I have dogs. So I've just dropped my dogs off to the dog lady or something for the day and now I'm just heading home via some country roads having a fabulous time that's what this car is about <laughs> do you know what I want to say I'm gonna say it 
think the Korean brands are smashing it right now. Hyundai, Kia, Genesis. I think they are just at the absolute top of their game. They listen to their customers. Their customers want buttons, they give buttons. And then the customers want a nice quiet drive. That's exactly what they're doing. They're high tech, they're good looking cars. I mean, I know there's a little bit of camouflage, but that doesn't really matter. You basically know exactly what it looks like. You've, all you've got to do is watch Ginny's video. And to drive, that was pretty impressive. Yeah. Well done, Hyundai. I'm impressed. Oh, subscribe to the Electrifying YouTube channel. Thank you.